Hello everyone. Welcome to the Glitter Pit. We're live. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Let me flip over my switches here. Just come on in. We're going to do an early bird glitter spinner, so leave a comment. You guys know the drill, right? Welcome to everybody that's new. We like new people over here. All right, so let me turn my comments on. And then I can start seeing you guys. Hey, everybody. Hi. Switzerland. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. I got to take my cough drop out. Hello, everyone. Even Switzerland. And oh, my gosh, Wisconsin. Welcome to the Glitter Pit. You're in the right place. South Carolina. All right, so we're on YouTube again today. We're gonna give this a whirl for a few more weeks. Let me know what your feedback is if you guys are getting a good connection. We got new Wi-Fi over the weekend, so my husband's got it hooked up. And once again, I'm on my own Wi-Fi channel, so hopefully the no buffering will be better, especially on my end. But hopefully that will transcend to you guys too, right? All right, so let's go ahead and do an early bird glitter spinner. Let me get my gift here. I got some resin hearts embellishments. Aren't they cute? All right, so let me go ahead and do my picture in picture here so we can do our glitter spinner, right? Yay. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab my spinner. Let me get my iPad. I don't want to, I want to make sure I don't turn this off. Hold on. Just gonna make sure I grab it on the right end because apparently I think I have it upside down. Yeah, let me turn this. <laughs> Isn't that funny how it then it just spins right around? All right. So everybody, this is how we do the glitter spinner. So when you come in early, we do an early bird glitter spinner. And at the end of the hour of our Glitter Pit Live, we do a couple other glitter spinners. Usually I give away the project that we're making and a couple Stampin' Up! products. But today I'm gonna to give away these resin stars. These are in the current mini catalog. So all you have to do is just leave a comment during the live broadcast. And right now, when everybody's checking in, leaving a comment, if you guys have a question, let me know that too. I always go back and answer the questions later after the live because I can't seem to catch up, you know, here on the live broadcast. So I will go back and I will Look at all the comments later. But we will have a little Q&A at the end if you guys want to hang out. And also, the the retirement list for the annual catalog is going to be posted at 3 o'clock, which is like right now. Well, 3 o'clock Eastern Time. It's 1 o'clock Mountain Time is when it's actually posting. So I figure I'll let everybody else go get it, and then I'll go get it. If you guys want to hang out for a little bit after the Glitter Pit Live, towards the end of the hour, if we go over the hour, I will go ahead and print off the list and we'll kind of scam through it, but I will post the list also on my website, okay? So make sure you go to my website, which is right here, dawnstampingthoughts.net, and you go to my website, say about 4, 4.35, just give me a few minutes after the live broadcast to get over to my computer and copy the list and post it, and then you guys can grab it. So make sure you're checking that out and then go through the catalog. We can go through the catalog, but I got a feeling it's going to be a big list. So that might take more than like two hours. <laughs> just saying. All right. So I'm just giving you guys some more time to log in and be in the glitter pit. All right. Let's do the drum roll. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to spin the comments. And then I'm going to stop. And then those are who... Oh! Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Who said that? Nicole. Wow, my iPad is like taking a minute for it to register. I know, Nicole, right? Switzerland. That's amazing, isn't it? Okay, so Nicole, you got the early bird glitter spinner. Yay. Congratulations. Woohoo. Okay, Nicole got the stars. I'm going to put the stars down. All right, let me go ahead and put this back up here now that it's facing the right way. All right, let me put this on my goodie. All right, yay, Nicole. 
Congratulations. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and go over the updates, and then we're going to go ahead and do some... Oh, wait, we got to do the glitter giveaway too, right, from last week? So I did draw two winners from the glitter giveaway. Now, remember, this is when you're going to go to my website starting tomorrow, and you're going to leave a comment on my blog post titled Two for Thursday. But right now, I'm abbreviating that, so don't be dis discouraged or confused when you go to my website you're going to see a blog post titled tft you guys know i like to abbreviate stuff so just like the fsm tokens we always say the frequent stamper miles tokens those are abbreviated for fsm tokens right so two for thursday is abbreviated for tft so that will be in my blog post starting tomorrow because it's two videos we'll be posting the live stream from today as the replay and then also we will be posting a shorter version on YouTube but you have to go to my website to view it because that video will be private so you guys got to go to my website and view that other shorter version of the card that we're gonna make today all right yay all right so let me give you my website again so in case you're new to the glitter pit this is where you're gonna go dawnstampingthoughts.net and usually the most current blog post or website post is posted at the very top. So then you're just going to click read more and then you'll be into the current post that you want to leave a comment on tomorrow. So I had two winners that I drew last week for the glitter giveaway. And let me get my drum roll going here and I'm going to share those. Wait, I got to take that off. Okay, so we have the two winners from last week. Barb and Cheryl. Woo! -hoo! Barb, Cheryl. You guys won the glitter giveaway last week. So that meant you guys won the one of the two stamp sets that are posted over on my website from last Wednesday or last Thursday, actually, the blog post. So everybody that left a comment, you guys got entered. And then I drew two names, and that was Barbara and Cheryl. So, Barb, I already have your address. Cheryl, I'm waiting to hear back from you. So please check your email. Also check your spam and your junk folder because sometimes emails go into that folder. So make sure you're checking that and then respond with your, your physical street address so I can mail you the stamp set, okay? So let me know that and then Barb, I will get your stamp set sent out with Cheryl's hopefully tomorrow. The sooner you guys contact me, the better, all right? Okay, so now I have two more stamp sets, even though it looks like I'm going to have three stamp sets for this next week, but one of them is a two, two for two, like, you know, it's a big stamp set. So this is a retired stamp set, and it's called Raining Flowers, and it's a one of two, two of two. So you're going to get both of them, and it's a red rubber stamp set, so you're going to have a chance to win this two set stamp set. It's really, really pretty. So now a two, it's actually a two-step stamp set too. So you need like two images to make one stamp. So this stamp set, and then I also have an old celebration stamp set. Who remembers the stamp set? I can't really tell you what year it was, but this there also was a, a punch that went with this stamp set. And this is called Banner Blast. So, but it's cute. It's got this little love here and a little high, but you can easily cut those banners out too. So it's a really cute stamp set. And this is also red rubber. Okay. So it's actually three stamp sets, but this is one stamp set, one whole set. Okay. So leave a comment on my website starting tomorrow through next week. And then I'll draw two more winners and we'll announce those live in the glitter pit next Wednesday at three o'clock. All right. So hopefully your name will be drawn, but you got to enter to win, right? So all you have to do is just leave a comment, which is super easy. All right. And then what else did I want to share? I think that was it. Oh, I got some, I definitely got some happy mail from Stampin' Up. So apparently when we went to the million dollar retreat, I guess it's been like almost two weeks ago, right? Me and Richard had left so early in the morning that... Our flight, we left at, we had to get up at 4.30 and then our flight left at 4.30 to go to the airport. And then our flight left at 6 o'clock from Utah. So we had missed breakfast and apparently 
The Million Dollar Achievers got two more gifts, but instead of them being a pillow gift, they were left at the breakfast table. And Richard got a gift. So I wanted to share those with you. So here's, here's my other gift. And of course, they're using my Million Dollar Stamp Set. Isn't it cute? Life's a journey. Enjoy the ride for my motorcycle stamp set that I got to make. And then Shelly and Sarah signed the tag. But then on the inside is a gift. Let me share this with you guys. Let me take this out. Hold on. It's got to be difficult here. There we go. So it's a necklace. But you know what? Stampin' Up! does everything first class, high class, all the way with Stampin' Up! So this necklace is so beautiful. So now... Mind you, this was my trip for my $2 million trip, right? So I'd already experienced my $1 million trip back in, I think it was 2000, uh, I want to say 2013 or 14. I don't remember, but when I hit my $2 million, so on the necklace, it has the date that I hit my $2 million, which was 6-5 of 2019, then on the other side, it says I hit my 2 million. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you even see that? Oh, yeah, you can. Kind of. And then on this side, it has when I signed up to be a demonstrator. 10-3 of 2003. And then on the opposite, the back side, which you can't see with it being in the package. Let me show you. So pretty. So then on the, okay, so there's my date. I hit my 2 million. Let me see if you guys can see it. Wait, it's a glare there. Hold on. Can you even see it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so it has my date that I hit the 2 million. It has my date that I signed up, which was 10-7-2003. Then it says Stampin' Up! on the other side. And then on this side, it's for my $2 million achievement. So isn't that pretty? So beautiful. So they sent that to me. And then they also sent Richard. Let me show you his little gift that he got. And it was funny because when the package came, I thought, what did I order? <laughs> because it came in a Stampin' Up! box, you know, like from UPS. And I was like, what in the world did I order? So this is like a, a bag for like an overnight bag or um, not like a luggage bag, but like for shaving, you know, a shaver and, you know, just stuff that a guy needs like for the shower or something, but it's real leather and it's awesome. It's really cute because it's got engraved on there, RNG for his name. Isn't that awesome? So Richard was actually quite surprised that he got a gift. So we got those in the mail this last week. And what a surprise it was, let me tell you. I love it. So I wanted to share those with you guys. I said, Richard, don't use that bag. I got to show everybody in the glitter pit. Because <laughs> you guys helped me get that. You guys know, right? I want to share all that with you guys. All right, so let's go over the announcements really quick. We have, if you want to sign up for my newsletter. Now, this newsletter goes out every Wednesday at 2.30, about 2.30. And let me tell you, this week's newsletter is jam-packed. So please check it out. You don't want to miss nothing. But I'm just going to give you the highlights today so you won't miss it. And if you aren't joined on my newsletter, please join. You can use your cell phone. Text the one glitter. And then text the number is 22828. Then click send. And then once you send it, then it's going to pop back and it's going to ask you to enter your email address that you want to be notified at. Then you enter the email address and then hit send again. This is all from your cell phone. Super easy. And then once you hit the submit for the email address, then it's going to pop back and say you're all set. You're in the, in the loop, I guess you could say, right? So if you haven't signed up for my weekly newsletter yet, please sign up. You don't want to miss out. Plus, you'll get a sneak peek of what we're making and there's a free bonus tutorial in there. And let me tell you, this week is so adorable. Raise your hand if you guys got it. It's so cute. <laughs> Just in time for Easter, right? So cute. But there's a lot of other information in that newsletter. So don't miss it. Okay? So make sure you do that today. 
And then also the Stampin' Tutorials, I send those out probably daily, if not every other day. So whenever you place an order with me, you'll get the email for all these four tutorials. And then you just open it up and then you have all the written tutorials with pictures, step-by-step -step instructions. So it's really super awesome. So we also have a sneak peek picture of it on our website. So you can see that. But you actually get it in your email box. So please also be checking your spam folder or your junk folder because it goes there too, okay? So those are free with my um, customer's orders and Paper Pumpkin gets those too. Then the two promotions that's going on is the Waves of the Ocean and the Savings are in Bloom. So let me break this down a little bit if you're new to the Glitter Pit or new to Stampin' Up! in general. Stampin' Up! is offering these two promotions and this one is a sneak peek item which is the Waves of the Ocean which is the stamp set and the die which are called Waves of Inspiration. These two items are going to be in the next annual catalog, which starts on May 3rd. And then these items down here, the designer paper, the foil paper, and the rhinestones are exclusive items that are available while supplies last. But these two items, the stamp set and the die, will be in the next mini catalog. So they're giving us like a sneak peek item to get early. So it's pretty exciting. And then this one is really awesome because it's the mini die cut machine. The little stamping cut and emboss machine is $60 normally and it's 20% off. So that's going to be $48. And this is for the little tiny mini compact lightweight one. And then also there's 13 bundles, which this one is the 13th one. And then you have another page of all the bundles, the stamp sets, the dies that are available at 20% as well. And these dies also work with this little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So 20% off, but this one, this Ways of the Ocean is going through May 2nd. So you have, you know, a little bit longer to go with that promotion. But this promotion with the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine and the bundles are expiring on March 31st. So to get the 20% off, which is big, right? Plus, wait till the retirement list post. Maybe some of these are on the retirement list. Okay. And then this is the current mini catalog. Remember, this, the retirement list that's posting today is for the big annual catalog. You know, like the 200 and some pages. The mini catalog is still current through June. The end of June. I think it's June 30th. So the, the items in there are still current through there. So you can still get these items. And remember, there's a list of a lot of back order items. So if there's something that you ordered, or if you want me to look for to see if it's on back order or when it's going to be available again, please just send me out a, a message or an email. Okay. And then this is the PDF, the printable flyer that you can print off. I have the link listed out in my... Does my description box below the live or above? Let me check it out. <laughs> I don't remember. Facebook and YouTube are like a little bit different. I snagged my husband's iPad today to see what this looks like here. So let me just click this open here. All right, so the description box is below in the description box. So you can see here, well, not there, hold on. <laughs> All right, let me get out of here. All right, so let me show you here on my page. So right down here, so you can see my live. Oh, <clears throat> sorry, right here. And if you click that little arrow box right here on the top right, you click on that and you have the very first item listed is the PDF. So if you click on that, it will open up the PDF, which is this right here. Hold on, it's gonna take a minute to open it up, but there's the PDF. So it has all the measurements, the pictures of the projects, as well as the supplies that I use for today's project, all right? So if you want to print that, I send that in the newsletter that I send out at 2.30. I give that out ahead of time. We started that a few weeks ago when we were over on Facebook. A lot of you guys want to make the project with me, so I sent you all the, the information. If you want to cut out the cardstock and make it along with me, that is there for you to do that. Yay! Yay! All right, so that's all the updates. Do you guys have any questions before we start stamping? Why not on Facebook? Well, 
Facebook was buffering a lot and a lot of my viewers were getting kicked off and myself. We were like getting restarted and then we get kicked out. So, so far YouTube, knock on wood, is doing pretty good. We just came over to YouTube last week. So Wednesday was our first week and then this week is our second week. So I think this week's going to be a little bit better. Hopefully we get better and better every week, right? So that's the reason why we're not on Facebook, Jerry. Great question. So it's nice to have another platform. I can go live in both platforms, but right now I'm just trying out YouTube. With my Switcher Studio, I can go live on Facebook and YouTube, but I'm still trying to figure that program out. It's just slightly different. So maybe one day we can do both. We'll just see, all right? But for right now, we're just hanging out on YouTube, giving this a whirl. Um, I hate that the pebble enamel stones keep becoming unavailable. I start to order and then they are already unavailable. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Renee. Now that's really terrible is if you can add it to your basket and then it sells out because I don't quite know how that works with Stampin' Up! Like... Usually, if you add it to your basket, your item is counted for that count that's available. But maybe it's not until you actually cash out. Then, you know, it's up for grabs until you actually physically cash out. I don't know. I um, I can call Stampin' Up! and ask them how that works. But, okay, well, thank you. Thank you, Donna, for letting me know. She likes you two better. Giddy for Griffy! I got some Griffy pictures. <laughs> yeah, we got to bring Griffy over to YouTube, right? So you guys want to see some pictures of Griffy? So for those of you that are new to the Glitter Pit, Richard and I, we had our first grandson back in December. So December 5th, he was born, but he was six weeks early. So he is like, what is it now? December... January, February, March. So he's just about maybe three and a half months old, but he's so cute. He's getting so big. I will tell you that. So, all right. So let me share some pictures of Griffy really quick, and then we'll jump into stamping. What do you think? We always got time for Griffy time. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, Jesse. Thank you, Jesse. I'm glad to see you made it over here. So now I will share a little bit about what I've been figuring out with YouTube. So YouTube isn't really that much different than Facebook. You do have to have an account with YouTube to leave comments. And I believe how you share the video is by liking it. I think. I think that's how you just share the video. Or in the comments, maybe you click, you type in shared or... I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research on that to see how you actually share the YouTube video. But I don't think there is an actual share like there was on Facebook. I don't remember, you know. So if anybody knows, please share. We want to know how to do that. Uh, Renee. Oh, oh, I know, Renee. But you know what? I want the online ordering and everything to go as smooth as possible. And if we can find out what the issue is, I mean, I feel like then we'd be more educated on how to handle all that, right? I mean, I want everybody to place big orders or small orders, but when it's time to check out, I want you to get what you get, you know? I don't want it to be, like, zapped underneath you. So, but yeah, thank you for letting me know, Renee. I'll look into that, okay? <laughs> thank you, Renee. <laughs> yes, everybody loves Griffy. All right, so here's a couple pictures of our Griffy. And his full name is Griffin Richard Bice. He's so cute. Yay for Griffy. Thank you, Rita. <laughs> oh, and his shirt says, handsome little pup. Because, you know, Jesse and Nick have, like, three big dogs. So, they're definitely dog people, which we love, right? We love all kind of animal people, but... Yeah, and then here's one of Griffy puckering up. <laughs> He's so cute. He just kisses little chubby cheeks. So adorable. Adorable. So there's your Griffy fix. Pretty soon, it, well, actually the, the 20th was first day of spring, right? So we are like ready. I mean, the pool isn't open or anything yet, but we're ready 
for springtime to start, right? All right, so no judging. Remember, this is the no judgment zone, but I'm going to confess to something that I haven't really told too many people. <laughs> Yeah. You guys know there's no judging in the glitter pit. So we just took down our Christmas tree Friday. <laughs> no, it was actually Thursday because Laura came over and she the tree was down. And I told her, I said, can you believe we just took our Christmas tree down? I know, no judging. But we celebrated Christmas late because Griffey was born late. So we didn't even celebrate Christmas until like middle of January. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, so we took down our Christmas tree this last Thursday and it looks so empty. But you guys know I love our Christmas tree. First of all, it's so sparkly and pretty. And it's like a little nightlight for me. But now that it's gone, it's like it's so dark in the corner and ugh. But it did make me happy during the winter months. So I was very happy about that. Okay, so one more thing before we start stamping. We got the card sketch number 223. Remember, every Monday on my website, we have a brand new card sketch. So remember, the card sketches are for those um, losing your mojo moments or when you're not inspired it's just easy to go to my website. Every Monday we post a new card sketch and I give you all the measurements. And then you just take the measurements and you make the card with what you guys got. So I use the Artfully Composed. I love that designer paper. So that was my inspiration for the base of the card. So very simple card, but it's the happiest birthday wishes. So you can get all the information from this card sketch, which was posted this past Monday. But then also above in my description box in the toolbar right in, at the top. Let me show you here. Since I have my husband's iPad here, let me log in. I'll show you guys where this gallery is. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to go to my website. And then you can, you can click on that link and you will be able to open up all... The card sketches all 223 of them right it's not opening for some reason let's see I don't know why it's not opening see I get a blank page but we'll we'll come back to that but there's a little toolbar at the very top and it says card sketch galleries there's a little drop down box for galleries I believe and you click on the card sketch galleries and all the card sketches is, are in there as well as the picture of the card sketch so if there's one card sketch that you like to learn more about all you have to do is just click on the photo and it will take you to the blog post that has all the information as well as my sample of the card sketch that I did okay all right Yay! Thank you. It's pretty great being a grandma. I have six grandkids. Holy moly, Chris. That's awesome. Yeah, Griffy is our first. And he's pretty darn cute, I must say. Okay. Oh, hey, Brian. Where have you been? <laughs> Where have you been? I know you haven't been on Facebook for a while. At least we haven't seen you over there. So happy to see you here on YouTube. Hope everything's all right. All right. So let's go ahead and stamp. You guys want to get busy stamping? Let me get all the, the pieces here. So let me show you the card first that we're going to make. Now, this is going to look really familiar. But if you guys remember the video that I posted like, I don't know, like three or four weeks ago. We made this part, oh wait, that's not the card. Hold on, I gotta find the card that I actually made the inside. Remember that? Right here. This is the card, but we made the mechanism to make the card move and pop out. Remember? I will post that link on my website tomorrow. So I think I forgot to post that in the link for today in the description box. Don't you love that card? So I just showed you how to do this mechanism. See this under here? That's what makes all the magic happen. 
But then I said, because I didn't make the front of the card, I said, if you guys want me to make the shaker card, let me know and I'll make the shaker card. So, so many of you guys reached out to me saying that you wanted to make the shaker card. So, we're going to make the shaker part to this card. And then here's the other one. This one does not have the inside. But this was just the shaker part. And then this one right here is the Bermuda Bay version. Remember that I showed you during that video that we made? Isn't it cute? I love interactive cards. You guys know that that's what I love. Love, love, love. All right, so, but before we get started, I got to show you something here. All right, so in the mini catalog on page 67, because I'm using this shimmer paper, and I want to let you guys know, I mean, it's $5 to get two pieces of the 12 by 12 supple shimmer paper because it's glittery. You guys know I like the glitter, right? So, but in the description and the picture, it shows that it's pink and blue. It's not. It's definitely pink because that's what we're going to use today. Woo! It's so pretty. So, this is the pink. And then I'm using the polished pink for the card. But then this is what they were calling the blue. But I really do think that it's more like an iridescent color, don't you think? I mean, it looks like it's kind of like a greenish tone, but I feel like it's with all my lights and stuff. But look, isn't that pretty? Oh my God, that's so pretty. And look, it doesn't come off. It doesn't come off at all. Okay? So this is the, the blue that's kind of listed, but it's not blue. So I'm just giving you a heads up. When you get this product, it's not going to be blue like that. Because you would think that that's pink and blue like for a boy and a girl, right? It's not. And it could be, you know that, remember that dress that was going across Facebook years ago about is it blue or is it green or whatever? I think that's kind of like what's going on here. I don't know. But I just want to give you a heads up. So, and it's $5 for the 12 by 12 of, you're getting both pieces. So, just to give you a little... A little heads up because it's not blue okay but they are pretty so we're gonna use the pink so I already did all the die cutting okay so this is these are the pieces that we're gonna use today and then this is the stamp set it's finally back in stock I've ordered so many of these bundles for all of my customers that wanted it for their FSM tokens it is a top favorite. So hopefully it makes the new catalog. Mom is the word. My lips are sealed. <laughs> All right. So the rainbow of happiness is the stamp set. And then the dies are the brilliant dies. And you get this in a bundle right now. And you'll save 10%. And then I'm also using the rectangle stitch dies. And I'm using this tiny, tiny die right here for the greeting the smallest little narrow die and that's for whoopsie that's for the you make me smile or you make me happy stamp okay all right so I went ahead and die cut out the rainbow pieces let me show you what I did so you're gonna cut out hold on a minute you're gonna cut out the basic white but when you cut it out you want to make sure you're going to leave enough space at the, the bottom and the top or the bottom and the side because we're going to be using the adhesive strips to pop it up to make it a shaker card so when you're die cutting it leave it a little like an edge enough for the adhesive sheets which are these right here or the, adhe the adhesive strips I want to say that's like maybe less than a quarter of an inch. So just pay particular notice when you're die cutting that out. All right. And then I went ahead and die cut out the rainbow pieces with the pink shimmer paper. That supple shimmer paper. But we're only going to use the largest piece and the second to the smallest. So right here. So this one right here and this one. Can you see it? And then these two windows are the shaker part of the card. So if you cut 
the whole set of the rainbow out, you can use these for another sticker card. Just keep them for the other side. And then I cut out a few of the clouds, which are also in that Brilliant Rainbows collection right here, these little clouds. Okay, so I cut those out with the basic white. All right, then I went ahead and cut out a piece of window sheet that is cut at three and three quarter by five. And then a piece of the polished pink cardstock, which is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. Then you score it at four and a quarter. Let me get my bone folder. Okay. All right, since we just folded that, we're going to go ahead and do this piece. So now you're going to grab your pencil and you're just going to make a little tiny light pencil line because this is where we're going to draw, where we're going to put our sequins. So lay your, just lay it on there. You don't have to adhere it down yet or use your temporary adhesive. I'm going to outline this panel right here and the second one, or the third one actually. Okay, so let me show you up close. So I did the smallest and the third. And I outlined that. So now this is going to be the section. Can you see that? Oh yeah, you can see that good. This is where I'm going to put my sequins. So it's going to be a guide to where I got to keep the sequins in that area. Okay. So, but you want to do this section before you put the window sheet onto your basic white. So let's do that. I'm going to flip this over and I'm just going to put adhesive along the edges. And then the window sheet is going to cover up that window. So and this is the three and three fourths by five. Okay, so this is the back side. Then this is the front side. So you can see the window through there. All right, now we're gonna put our adhesive strip. I'm just gonna grab, I think I use a couple sheets of this or a couple strips. All right, so we're gonna we're going. Let me zoom in here. We're gonna outline this window and this window. But since that one window, you know what? Let me first. Let's add our sparkly paper because that will make more sense. Let's do that first. We're gonna do like paper piercing with the the pink shimmer. So this is gonna go on the front, and it's just a matter of setting it in that cutout. Just set that right in there. It should fit perfectly. And then we're going to do this one and the, the second to the smallest one. Just put adhesive on the back. This is going to get stuck to the window sheet really nice. So you don't have to do anything fancy with that. Okay. So then now you can see right where the windows are going to be, right? Because they're like see through -y. Okay, so now we're going to take our, flip it over. Now we're going to take our adhesive strips and we're just going to outline. Actually, let me start at the bottom. This is where you need that little bit of guide. So I'm going to go ahead and go around those two windows. And you will be going around the pink one too. I guess you could just do individual shakers. But I find it's easier just to go ahead and do... The whole three layers or the three you know the three rainbow sections right here because the pink you won't even see it but then it's a good shaker you know so this is where we're going to use another strip keeping that away from the windows but yet you don't want any gaps in your adhesive because you don't want the sequins to fall out here's my scissors so make sure you're butting the adhesive up to each end so nothing shakes out of your shaker. And then I have this big piece left, so I'm not going to waste it. I'm just going to go ahead and put it right on the opposite edge. And then also a piece at the top. Because with this having the adhesive part on here and this having nothing, it would be like lopsided, right? So we're just going to peel off the backing 
Remember this adhesive is double sided, so it's sticky on both sides. So now you got your adhesive on the back. All right, now let's take our base. Make sure you don't get anything on your adhesive either or outside of this pencil line, especially when you're putting the card together because you don't want anything to interfere with that shaking part. I ordered more of the strips. Yeah, you can never have enough of the strips. I find that the strips, these right here, are even a little bit bigger than our Stampin' Dimensionals. I really like them. Now, where's my sequins at? That's the next ticket here. Hold on. I got some right here. I got, these are the Sparkle and Shine Sequins Assortment. These are what I had left. I think these were in the mini catalog. Look how pretty. Ooh, see, that would be pretty with that shimmer paper. Look. See, look. See how it catch? I think it's my lighting that's making it green because I see a lot of green in this too. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, but my husband's an electrician, so he's really hooked up the lighting in my office and my classroom here. So... I don't know. Let me know if you guys see it more blue when you get it. Because maybe it's just this way in my office. Woo! Don't get that. <laughs> Super sticky. All right, so I'm just reinforcing that score line because I want these sequins to stay right in that pencil line. Do you see it? So I'm, I'm not going to use all these sequins, but I'm just going to pour a couple pinches worth. And keep them inside. I want them to lay flat. I don't want them to be like bulky and so push them together so they're inside of the pencil line. See that? Can you see it? Let me zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, right there. Okay. And then you're gonna take the the, the cover or the front of the card. And then since we line this up to be in the center, you know, with your your border around the basic white. It should line up perfectly. And I didn't erase my pencil line at all. Is that good? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Whoo! Sorry, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Is that better? Let me zoom out. There we go. Okay, so then don't move the shaker part yet. Adhere that down on that adhesive strips. Because remember me saying that you don't want to interfere with that adhesive and the sequins. You want that to all stay put until you seal that down to the polished pink. And then you can shake it. Shake it up, baby. <laughs> Isn't it fun? Look how pretty. So sparkly. Yeah, that's the shaker cart. Super easy, right? All right, now let's stamp. I'm going to stamp the You Make Me Happy, and I'm going to use the Polish Pink Classic Ink. We're going to stamp on my little rectangle. I have two here. So make, make sure you have the stitch part. Can you see the stitched line? Yeah, you can see that. So make sure that stitch line is facing the right way. And then this is a photopolymer stamp set, so you can see really good right where to stamp. Stamp that along that strip. Whoop, oh, there you go. Ta-da! You make me happy. And that's gonna get popped up on the front. Let me get my mini Stampin' Dimensionals along with my pick your pick tool. We're gonna put, let me close this up before I put my finger in there. All right, so we're gonna put mini dimensionals on the back side of our greeting and then also the clouds. Whoop. 
right? And then there is a right and a, or a front and a back to the clouds too. So make sure you're, the edge is different. It's like once you cut the clouds, they're more like a round edge in the front and then more of a blunt edge on the back. Look, let me see if you can see this. Can you see that maybe a little bit? How it's blunt there and then when you turn it over it's more like curved round maybe? I don't know. I can tell. Definitely tell myself when I'm looking at it in real life. Okay, so we're going to put our greeting on first. And then we're going to balance everything else around that. So I'm going to put that there. Now I'm going to give this card away at the end of the hour. For the glitter giveaway then we're gonna position our clouds around the greeting so cute such a cute little birthday card okay oh I love it all right now we're gonna add a bow hold on there's still more we're gonna tie a bow this is the 3 8 polished pink open weave ribbon now remember the polished pink is a color that's carrying over yay and i do have some other information about what's coming and what's going and oh my gosh if you guys seen my website today and then also in the newsletter we got a sneak peek of the new end colors that are coming when we went to our million dollar retreat thing and we were so excited about the colors but we had to, you know, sign a confidentiality agreement when we went. Because we were seeing some top secret stuff. Let me tell you. <laughs> so, we finally get to share the colors. And they're so cute. They actually remind me a lot of our older colors. I love the one that's, I think this the Tahitian, um... Tahitian, Tahitian Tide? It looks like Tempting Turquoise, doesn't it? And it's weird that it's a TT word, right? That's one thing Stampin' Up! does good, too, with our naming of the product. So I'm going to put my mini glue dot, and then I tied my little bow there. So sparkly. You love the new ink colors? Me, too. So, but this polish pink is the in color that this color group, which I'll show you the pictures of all the in color. So, cause I know it's confusing. So I did like a little color, little diagram for us to kind of go over. So you won't be confused no more, right? So every year we always have 10 in colors, no matter what, there's always 10, but five retire. And then we get five new colors. And then the five colors that remained from the last time, they carry over and then we get a five new batch. So let me show you here. For instance, let me see if I brought them over. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so these colors right here, oh, these colors right here are retiring. So these were the 2020 through 2022 in colors, and they are all labeled like that in the annual catalog, which I'll show you. But you have your Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Bumblebee, Magenta Madness, and Misty Moonlight. These five colors are retiring as of May 2nd. So you have like just a few weeks, well, I'll say six weeks maybe. Well, March is almost over, right? So we have April, yeah, so about six weeks left to get your in colors that you really like your favorite colors make sure you're checking out the refills all the embellishments i have a, a link on my website as well as the link in the description box that takes you to all of the retiring in color collections that are retiring so it makes it really easy so if you click on that link it will take you right to my online store and then it has everything with these colors, with these five colors. Like you have the, the, you know, the gems and you have ribbon and you have the ink refills. You have the cardstock, the ink pads, you know, all that stuff that coordinates with these five colors, okay? And then these, if you haven't seen it yet, these are the five brand new colors. Yes! I love them all. Aren't they awesome? I know Misty Moonlight. Misty Moonlight's really grown on me too, as well as the 
um, what was the other color? The Cinnamon Cider, I think, is my most favorite. And I really do like the Magenta Madness. So I think that those two, and then the Misty Moonlight was one of my top favorites, too. I really like those three the best. But now these three, or these five new in, five new in colors are starting on May 3rd with the brand new catalog that starts on May 3rd. So now you have the Orchid Oasis, the Sweet Sorbet, Stormy, or Starry Sky, star, sorry, 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 Starry Sky, Tahitian Tide. Doesn't that look like Tempting Turquoise? And then my team, they were saying that the Park, Park, what is it? Parakeet Party looks like Lucky Limeade. It does look like Lucky, Lucky Limeade. Remember that color from years ago? But let me tell you, even though they look similar, they definitely are not. You know that saying that I always like to say, they're the same, same, but different? Yeah, this is that. That Tahitian Tide is not like Tempting Turquoise, but man, I miss Tempting Turquoise. Oh, so I'm so happy to see that new color. So then let me show you here in the annual catalog. Let me flip this back over so I can show you right where these colors are. And then you can, you will know which ones are retiring, okay? So this is our annual catalog. Remember, all the retirement list has already been posted, so you're probably seeing it. But go to my website after our live today, and you can print that off. And then what I like to do is go through each page and either mark an X or stamp it with the lips because we're kissing it goodbye. So, but just know, I know a lot of this is going to be very depressing because there are a lot of, really awesome items but just know that the catalog that's coming is so amazing i got to see that too at the million dollar retreat oh my gosh so amazing okay so on page 123 down at the very bottom these are the 10 colors of our ink colors that are currently available so you can see by the year hold on let me pull this up here so you can see by the year because the end colors are only available for a two-year lifespan, okay? And then sometimes when we do like a color refresh or a color revamp, sometimes Stampin' Up! brings back the colors and puts them into the color collections. But they normally stay around for at least two years. So this one is the one that's retiring, the 2020 through 2022, these five colors. Some Insider, Just Jade, Bumblebee, Magenta Madness, and Misty Moonlight. And then these colors are the one that's carrying over to make room for the new five. So these colors, Fresh Freesia, Polished Pink, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, and Pale Papaya are all carrying over. So the only urgency are these colors. So if you have these ink pads or even the cardstock and you need a refill, I would highly recommend that you get them those items especially before I would even say before the end of this month but I think some of them are already probably sold out who knows but these colors always are the, the quickest and first to go to be sold out because everybody's stocking up on their favorite colors okay so then the next year 2023 because this one's 2021 through 2023 for that color collection so next year this color collection will retire and then the current collection that's coming out in the next catalog will move up. Then we'll get five new colors. Yay. So like I was saying, don't be... I mean, we all are sad when the retirement list posts. But we retire so many items because we got so many new items coming. So there's no way that Stampin' Up! could, you know, warehouse every single stamp set that we've made in like 35 years. In every single punch, every single die, you know. So we have the retirement list right before the catalog actually retires to have everybody get their favorites. And then those go away. And then that makes room for the new stuff. Now, I don't know if the carrying over list is going to be posted for the mini catalog. But I would assume not. But, you know, Stampin' Up! likes to do things different once in a while. So you never know. Okay, so be aware of that. And 
What else did I want to share with you guys? Let me see. What other pictures did I bring over here? Uh, oh, yeah. So let me share here. So in the newsletter, my allergies are acting up again. You know, it's tis the season, right? Sinus, sinus allergies. Okay, so my online stamp club is going to start opening for spots. So for those of you that are new to the online club, for myself, I offer online clubs. So it's a minimum of $50 that you have to purchase. But what's really nice is that everybody in the club, so I have six members, and if all, well, they have to. If, if you're a member of the club, you have to at least place at least a $50 order. But I'm telling you, most people place more orders than that. I mean, amount in orders. So every month, all the six hostesses get to be the hostess for one of the six months, okay? So when you sign up, you'll be designated to a club with five other members. So there's a total of six other people or six total in the club and each person is required to spend at least the $50. So each month when the club starts actually in the middle of April. I'm going to start this club in middle of April just because it's the retirement list will be active and then it will be ready for when the new annual catalog starts on May 3rd. So just know that the club runs for six months and each person gets to be the hostess for one of the months and you get to reap the rewards of like a collective party. So even though your order is $50 a minimum, you get to reap the rewards as a hostess for one of the six months for at least a $300 order. So you get the stamp and rewards, you get the, the perks of the hostess only items. And then when you're a member of my club too, you get a little gift at the end of the rotation if you're faithful to the club, if you don't back out, or if you're faithful in ordering every month, you get a little goodie bag for me in the mail. That's still at $25, $30 value. So... The online club notifications are signing up starting today. So this isn't actually having you sign up for my online club. This is telling me that you're interested to be notified first for the online club. So what's going to happen is when the online club email goes out towards the middle of May, you're going to actually sign up and I'm going to group you into six people to each group. So last rotation, I think I had four online club groups. So each club will have six members. And then once that club group of the six members is activated, then you use a special host code that I will open up for each of the clubs. And then you have that host code to use each month. You don't use the host code that's posted on my website. This is a, a special host code that's specifically assigned to your group. So, um, then you have until, I think it's like to the 15th of every month to place your order. And then you just, you, you place your order every month that way for six months. So, um, the link is also listed down below. I believe it might be, I think it is, but it's definitely on my website today. I started posting that today. So if you want to click over to my website at dawnstampingthoughts.net. And also in the newsletter. So once you click on and sign up, it's going to ask you for your address and your name and your email. I don't think it asks for your address yet. I think it's just your name and your email. Then you're going to be notified middle of April that the spots are opening up. Okay. So I know a lot of my club members want to be in the same club with like their family and friends and stuff. So that's totally cool. I can do that. I just need to know ahead of time. But right now, just signing up for the online club is all you're doing right now just to be notified when it opens up in the middle of May or the middle of April, sorry. Okay, so that opened up today. So just to be notified, sign up for that starting today. Okay, I'm trying to think what else did I have in that newsletter? I think that was it. I will be doing the paper shares as well. So, but I'm going to have that probably in a couple weeks because there's like, you know, stipulations that we got to follow with stamping up rules and stuff. So 
I'm getting something added to my website, so I don't want to have that conflicted with what I'm doing with my paper share. So I reached out to a couple people asking them. and so. But you guys will get all the details about my paper share too, and that will be probably in the middle of April as well. Okay, so and I'm just waiting to get my pre-order going in, in April 1st, and I want to see the um, catalog today too, because demonstrators get to see the catalog today. So I want to see how many papers I got to break it all down, you know, so I don't have anything ready for the paper share, but we are doing it. I always have to ask my husband because he's the one that does all the paper cutting and, you know, he does all the paper cutting and I do all the labeling and we do the stuffing together of the paper share and then we get them all sent out. So um, just if there was any questions about that, I, I would just want to let you know that we are doing the paper shares. All right, so I'm going to give this card away for the glitter spinner. I have a few other gifts here. Let me grab them. Let me clean up my area really quick. All right, so we have, we've got these adhesive-backed hexagons. Aren't those pretty? Looks like uh, Costa Cabana, maybe some petal pink and some basic black. And then I have some gold glitter enamel dots. Okay, so I'm going to give those away too with the card. Okay, so we're going to do the glitter spinner. All right, let me grab my iPad. Don't forget all the information. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter, please do that. So you'll be notified of everything I'm doing, everything that Stampin' Up! is doing. And I don't really want to junk up your email box. I just send out one email every Wednesday at 2.30. And then also check your spam and your junk folder for that, all right? And then also I post all the updates on my website. And then um, also here in the Glitter Pit. So I try to keep it all flowing so nobody misses out on any of the updates. But the easiest way is to check my website and then also sign up for my weekly newsletter. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead and do the card first. What do you think? Yay! All right, so let me go ahead and... I'm opening up my thing because I wanted to show you if that opened up on where my card sketches are. I think that's what else I wanted to share with you guys before we sign off. And then I can go print off the retirement list if you guys want me to do that. Let me know. It's not opening up for some reason down here. It's being a little turkey. I don't know. All right. I guess we're not supposed to do that part. <laughs> All right. Let's do the spinning. This is for the card. Now, remember, you're going to have to reach out to me because there's no way I can go back and look at the comments for who won and, you know, contact you. So this is the easiest way you can contact me if your name is drawn for any prize. This is my email address, dawn at theglitterpit.com. Make sure you email me soon after the live and then give me your address and then I will send you the gift. Okay, so it's super easy. But if you have one before from the Glitter Pit, because we've been streaming live for a few years now. So I have a lot of your guys' addresses, plus a lot of you are my customers and my team. But if I don't, if you're new and you win... You have to email me here, and then I'll send out the gift. And then I'll have your address for the future. If you ever win again, you won't have to do all that, okay? Super easy. So make sure you do that before you go anywhere after our live stream. Let's do the noise maker again. <laughs> that makes it legit. Like it's the prize is right or something. The price is right. Jesse! Yay! All right, Jesse, I got your address. You got the card, Jesse. Yay! Jesse, Jesse. Yay! All right, let me put my little note on here. And it's funny because sometimes the post it note comes off, but then I write on there what it is, so I remember that way at least. You know, it's kind of crazy in the glitter pit. All right, now let's do the adhesive-backed hexagons. Do the drum roll. <laughs> that makes it legit. All right, here we 
we go. This is Rita. Yay, Rita. Rita, Rita. All right, you got the hexagons. I'm just going to write hexagons on here. All right. Yay. These are so pretty, too. And you know what? All these, like, accessories and stuff, like these right here, I think this is in the baseball thing, but you can use these stars for anything, you know? That's why I say, like, even about the red rhinestones, even though they're, like, red and they're great for Valentine's Day, but you can use them for anything. All right, let's do these here. Let me write this out here. Gold dots. All right, let's do the spinner. Oh, wait, we got to congratulate Rita. Yay, Rita! Woo! -hoo! <laughs> All right. She said, so stinking cute. Thank you, Rita. All right, let's do the go. Wait, we gotta do the spinning here. All right, let's spin it. Right here. Who's that? Janet! Janet S. She said, Love the glittery rainbow card. Thank you, Janet. Janet S. Okay, so Janet S. I know a lot of Janet S's, right? But email me here. Dawn at the glitter pit dot com. Dawn at the glitter pit dot com. I should put that to a jingle, huh? <laughs> yeah. Dawn at the glitter pit dot com. And message me your address. Okay. Janet S. Hopefully you're still here. And then I will send you out these really pretty gold glitter enamel dots. Gorgeous. Okay. And then what else did we have for a winner here? Hold on. Don't forget to go to my website starting tomorrow. And you'll be entered to win one of these two stamp sets. The Banner Blast. And the Raining Flowers, which is a two-step stamp set. And it's a two-set stamp set. All right, what else did I give away? Is it over here? What else did I give away, guys? I gave something away for the Early Bird Glitter Spinner, didn't I? I can't find it, though. Hold on. One moment, please. I got so much stuff on my desk. It is not, it is not funny. All right, I don't see it. I'm sure it will show up. What did I give away? That's pretty. What did I give away for the early bird glitter spinner? Hmm. Somebody remind me, what was it? Maybe it fell on the floor. What was it? Jesse, what was it? Nicole, what was it? You won it, right? Maybe it's in my bag. I have to write a note. Nicole, what was it? No, Nicole didn't win the stars. Um, I'm looking back at my comments here. Uh, Oh, Janet. Okay, I know you, Janet. <laughs> All right, because your YouTube channel was just S. All right, so it's S-W-O-F-F-O-R-D. All right, I got you. <laughs> I got your address. I know where you live, right? All right, so Nicole, are you still here? Nicole, come back. I'm trying to remember. What did I give away for the early bird glitter spinner? It wasn't the stars. Oh, no. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> yes, it was the stars. You know what's funny is I was thinking start because I found a package of the Halloween stars. Do you guys remember that? And I was going to give those away, but um, it looked like the stars had moved, so it wasn't very pretty packaging, but I'll use them. But I was thinking those stars, not these stars. <laughs> That's right. Sorry, you're right. Whoever said that, that is correct. You are correct. All right, so Nicole, you got the stars for the early bird glitter spinner. So we always do an early bird glitter spinner. So 
make sure when you're joining us live here on Wednesday at 3 o'clock Eastern, come in early and just hang out. Get settled. That's why I send out the newsletter before we go live at 2.30. So it gives time for you to get a coffee or a pop or a soda, some snacks. And if you're making the card with me, it gives you time to cut out all the measurements and stuff, the pieces. And then we make the card together. So you get the newsletter about 2.30. And then, yeah, so then you can be here early and then check in, leave a comment. Then you're entered to win the early bird glitter spinner. Not many people are here early, so that's a really good chance to win, right? Now that I'm telling everybody, everybody's going to be here. <laughs> Oh, you can hand deliver me the prize and I can stand. Wait, 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 wait. What is this, Janet? You can hand deliver me prize and we can stamp together. I would love that so much. Where, you know what? Are you local, Janet? You could come here. I'm going to miss cinnamon cider too. Where do you, where are you, Janet? Are you in Troy? I have a lot of customers that are local too, but are you in Troy or Warren? I forget. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Hi, Norelda. All right. So do we want to go, want me to go print, print the list? Do you guys want to hang out a little bit longer? So my husband is getting another job. I know. He just got this job, right, from when he got booted out of the bank, right? But, yeah, so officially yesterday, he's changing jobs on Thursday. So, he's working down at the Chrysler plant. I guess he's got to push some work. So, everybody that knows my husband, and I know my husband doesn't like me bragging on him, but you guys know I brag on my husband a lot because he's a badass. But my husband is, like, pushing work, and he makes the workers toe the line. For those of you that were in the glitter pit a few weeks ago, you guys know the story, right? <laughs> About the guy that didn't clean up his mess and what happened. Well, anyway, that's the side story. Anyway, so, um, yeah, he's changing jobs. And get this, he's going to be working a lot of overtime. So, you know, back in the day when we were like spring chickens, we would like kill for overtime like this. But, you know, hey, we're like... 50s, mid 50s now, and it's like, you know, our life is just now starting riding the motorcycle, you know, being with the grandbaby. So it's like, you know, we did all the overtime stuff. So, um, yeah. So do we want to print the list? I can stay. Yay. All right. He's such a hard worker. Yes, he is. He is an amazing worker, and everybody knows it. I mean, he's been with this one company for years, and everybody knows that if they want something done, they got to call my husband. He's amazing. But he got everything done. Remember me showing, sharing the pictures of the generator and all the, the, the power stuff? I know it's like the whatchamacallit and the dumaflatcher, all that stuff that he does at the hospital. Yeah, he's got all that done, so now they need him at another job. But they're having a shutdown, I guess, at the Chrysler plant, so they need to do some major getting in there and getting it done. So I probably won't even see my husband with all the work he's going to be doing. All right, so just give me a second. I'm going to go print the list. Hang on. If anybody comes in and says if I'm still alive, tell them. I'm just printing the list.
Okay, I got good news and I got bad news. <laughs> Which one do you want first? The good news is it's only four pages. <laughs> so you know what I'm going to say about the four, the bad news, right? The bad news is that it's four pages, right? Four pages that are like tiny, tiny. Okay, Jesse, thank you. Look how tiny this writing is. I mean, like I said, we're like mid-50s here. We got to have like larger print than that. Holy moly, that's little print. All right, so four pages. You want to go through some of it? We might as well. Let's do it for a little bit anyway. All right, so it's all in new, um, page, page order of the catalog. So that should be easier. Now, there might be a little confusion with the bundles. You guys know the bundles and then the bundles are, are retiring. But then maybe a stamp set or something is carrying over. Let me zoom out. There we go. All right, so let's start with, it says the first item listed is on page 10. Beauty of the Earth Suite. All right, so page 10. Let's do this together, eh? Okay, so the Beauty of the Earth suite, which is on page 10, which is over here. This is all retiring. Then we have Beauty of Friendship Bundle. So this is the, now is this the bundle that's just retiring? Let me read the small print because, of course, they have like stars and three stars, two stars. Holy moly. Okay, so bundle, if it's got two stars on the list, bundle includes some products that are that are not retiring. Refer to the retiring list above to see what individual products are retiring. All right, so maybe the bundle price is retiring, right? But the stamp set and the dies are staying. So let's just say the bundle price is retiring. We can always come back. But I think the stamp set and the dies are staying because it just shows the bundle. Okay, then page 12, the Seascape stamp set. Or the bundle, hold on. I'm telling you, the, the... Okay, so the Seascape stamp set and the bundle are retiring. So the stamp set and the bundle, so I'm assuming the dies are retiring too. Okay, so then page 14. So the art gallery is staying. Okay, so page 14, a wish for everything. Oh my gosh. That is a humongous, amazing stamp set for like stamping the greetings and the inside of your cards. You guys know we always add Stampin' Up to make a stamp set that had like Halloween, and then there's like a greeting that you could stamp for the inside. That stamp set's retiring. Oh, all right. You just got to breathe through the list. That's all. Because what's coming is good, too. All right, so page 15. Welcoming window photopolymer stamp set. Right here is retiring. And welcoming window bundle is retiring. Okay, so that was on page 15. Okay, page, okay, so these are all staying. Page 19, we're gonna skip to. So the sunflower, celebrate sunflowers is staying. The jar of flowers and the mountain air are all staying so far. So I'm skipping over to page 19. The days to remember is also staying. So sending hugs, stamp set, sending hugs, bundle are retiring. Okay. Page 20. So the next page over. Blossom blooms and blossoms and bloom photopolymer stamp set. And uh Blossoms in Bloom Bundle. So both of them are retiring. Okay. 
21 timeless tropical clean stamp is retiring i made all my pillow gifts for my um my retreat my team with the stamp set because we went to hawaii in may with stamping up so i love that stamp set okay so the next one on the list is 22 garden wishes right here is retiring 22, okay, so page 23, Dragonfly Garden Bundle. Okay, so now this is what's going to be, okay, so this is where I think this one might be carrying over, but the bundle price is retiring, okay? So the die and the stamp set might be carrying over. We won't know until we get deeper into the list. But as of right now, just the bundle is retiring. So I'm assuming you guys know that the bundle price, some of the items do retire for the price, the 10% savings. All right. The next page is 26. So go from 23. These are all staying, 24 and 25. So you have painted poppies are staying, peaceful moments, and the stitchery is staying. Right? Yeah, 26. Enjoy the moment. Thank you, Jesus. That's what I'm going to say about this stamp set. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Woo -hoo! I don't even think I even used that stamp set once. And we got that free at Stampin' Up! event. I was like, what in the world? Hey, not judging anybody that loves that stamp set, but that's definitely not my style. So, good riddance. <laughs> All right. 27. Friends are like seashells bundle. Okay, so this bundle, once again, I think the stamp set and the die are staying. The bundle price is retiring. This is on page 27. All right, no judging, right? <laughs> no judging. Oh, the pansy. Let's see what's going on with that one. Oh, the pansy sweet collection on page 28 is retiring. Well, okay, so let me explain something. So the sweets, you guys know that Stampin' Up! when they put the catalogs together, I mean, they make it nice and like an easy button, right? You know, like Staples easy button. So you have here one easy button that gets you everything, like the designer paper, the stamp set, the die, which is usually listed on the next page, but it's not. But everything listed on this page right here is like a suite. So instead of entering all the individual item numbers, so you get the bundle, and then you get the designer paper, and then what else was in there? The bumblebee trinkets. You get the, the pansy patch bundle. You get the pansy petal designer paper. So everything, just one easy button. So, of course, they're going to be making new suites with the new product that's coming out. So the sweet item number is going away. But let's see if the pansy goodies are staying. Let me see here. I lost contract. I mean, I lost my space on this. Page 29. Okay, so it looks like the... The stamp set and the dies are staying because nothing on page 29 is going away. Okay, so pansy patch is staying and the dies. 30. Oh, no. In bloom stamp set. Say it isn't so. Huh. Now if the dies retire, because I think the dies are even more amazing than the stamp set. Okay, so then page 31. We have lighthearted lines and dress to impress, both retiring. Okay. Deep breath. All right. Page 32. Measure of love. This one is retiring. Cute little cupcake one. Is the sweet ice cream? Sweet ice cream is also retiring. Uh, okay, uh, page 33, Brew Some More is also retiring. You guys realize how small this list is, right? <laughs> okay, 
Hold on, I gotta blow my nose. Design that stamp set. What? Oh. Okay, Nicole, yeah, you got the stars. Thank you, Patricia. <laughs> okay, so we're on page 33. It's easier to look for the page number than it is the... Okay, so page 33. All right. Oh, no, I just seen one that's retiring. What's cooking? This has been a popular stamp set, too. I'm just looking to see. Oh, yeah, the bundle and the stamp set. Retiring bundle and the stamp set. So probably the dies, too, maybe. We have to wait. But the stamp set and the bundle are retiring. Page, that's page 34. All right, 30. Five, this is the Simply Succulents that stay. Yes, I love those greetings in that stamp set. You make the ordinary extraordinary. Kind people are my kind of people. I love that. That's one of my favorite stamp sets. Okay, so then 36, we have Create with Friends is retiring. Uh, Daisy Lane. Stamp set, retiring. Oh, I wonder if the Daisy Punch is retiring. We won't know till later. I mean, later, like in the back of the list. I'm not skipping back and forward. That's going to give me a headache. All right, so the Daisy Lane. And then, okay, so then the Lovely You is staying. That's pretty. Lovely You is staying. So page 38. Okay, 38. Sunny Sentiments. Oh, no. That's a cute one with the sunshine. Ugh. Sunny Sentiments is retiring. Timeless Tulips is retiring. Okay. Sharing Sunshine is retiring. Oh. Okay. Best chapter on page 40. So this one is retiring. I love this one for graduation and stuff. This one's a really good one. Uh, this is page 40. Are you guys marking your calendar or your catalogs with me? So you don't have to read this stinking little list. Okay, so page 40. Make it happen. This one is retiring. That's a Million Dollar Achievement stamp set. Yeah, for Karen Titus. Sorry, Karen, your stamp set's retiring. Page 41, Bunches of Fun, retiring. Ugh. Rats. Okay, page 42, Many Messages, retiring. Many Happenings, claim stamp. Retiring. So both of these word stamps are retiring. So I'm assuming the die will be too, this die right here. But we won't know until later. We got to get back there. One page at a time. 43. Sweet strawberries retiring. And sweet strawberry bundle. Oh no. That means the strawberry punch is probably retiring too. Right. Well, I wouldn't want the strawberry punch without the stamp set. Because they did that to us last year with the dog set. They kept the dog set, but they retired the paper. And the paper was just as good as the stamp set. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Okay, so page 43. 44. Okay, so in the wild, sweet is retiring. Which we know all the sweets are going to go. Because they're going to make new sweets for us. With an easy button. Okay, so page 44 in the wild suite. Got it. Uh, Wildcats photopolymer stamp set. Let's see if the bundle, Wildcats bundle, yes. Bundles retiring and the stamp set. I'm sure the designer paper will be too. But we're working our way back there. Okay, so the next page is 46. 46, a good man stamp set is retiring. Um, I didn't have any of these, so uh, I know you guys really encouraged me to get this hat one, but I never did get it. I just was challenged. I mean, my hat is really pretty, but 
I probably could have blinged it out, but I don't know. I'm very limited. You know, I am a hat wearer though. So, all right, see, 47. Hats off, photopolymer, retiring. And then the dye too, let's see here. Yep, hats off, bundle. So, yeah, I'm assuming that's all retiring. Okay, 48. Path to greatness is retiring. Page 50, handsome, handsomely suited. What is it? Oh, whiskey business is staying. Yes. <laughs> that was my very first stamp set I bought when it first came out. I love the stamp set for guys. Being a dad is whiskey business. <laughs> All right, what is this one here? Bamboo Beauty. All right, hold on. Let me double check before I get my, you know what, an award. All right, yeah. So these are two stain. Bamboo Beauty and Whiskey Business. Yes. All right, 50, handsomely suited, right here, retired, or retiring, and that's it. Oh, wait, after the storm. Yeah, this one's retiring, too. Oh, that's Frenchie Martin stamp set. Oh, Frenchie, so sad. Okay, so page 51. We've got Sailing Home. That is retiring. That stamp set I also really liked. It's a very nice um, nautical and Father's Day. Really, really beautiful. That's a, like a nice stamp set for collage You know, like Shelly's type of stamping. I love it. I did, I think I did a lot of stuff with the stamp set. I love it. Okay, so that's 51. Yep, all right, so 52, Inspired Thoughts. Okay, that's done. Uh, 52, and the, wait, 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 Nature's Thoughts. Oh, wait, don't write that as retired yet. The bundle is retired. Because this is new, look. So I'm just going to give you a crash course on the catalog. Whenever you see a new here, like this, an N, that means it's brand new, right? So, this might not be retiring. The bundle price is retiring. Yes! Because those trees are really beautiful. So, the bundle price is retiring, but the bundle items are probably carrying over. Because I don't see anything else retiring on 52. Just the Inspired Thoughts bundle, okay? Okay. Okay, so 50, ooh, we're skipping from 52 to 58. Holy Toledo. All right, so Nature's Beauty is staying. Campology is staying. That's good. 54. The Pampered Pets is staying. I love that stamp set, but I want the paper. Is that right? Yeah. A grandkid is staying and wildly adorable. That's so cute. Page 55, those are staying. We're going to 58. Right? Oh, wait. No, no, no. Go back. That's not 58. It's 53. Nature's beauty is retiring. Sorry. That three looks like an eight. That's why I thought we're going from 52 to 58. Okay, 53. Nature's Beauty is retiring. So is Pampered Pets. Okay, so Campology is staying. 54, Pampered Pets is retiring. Wildly Adorable is retiring. So the a Grandkid is staying. Oh, no. Turtle and Friends. Oh. Let's just make sure. Yeah, Turtle and Friends Bundle and Turtle and Friends Stamp Set. So everything's going to go there, I betcha. Okay, so then we got Stellar Birthday. That is retiring. Oh, please don't let those Give It a World Die retire. I love that collection. 
please. Pirates and Mermaids, page 58. Oh, here we go. That's a cute stamp set. I got it because I like the pirate and I like the greetings. Richard and I dressed up as pirates for a Halloween party. We won first place. Um, okay, so Pirate and Mermaids retiring. All for Baby, page 58. No, 59. Oh, no. Retiring. And the bundle. So everything's probably retiring. The dies, the bundle, and the stamp set. Okay, so all for baby, page 59. Okay, so page 60, your peach sweet is retiring, which we know, right? No big surprise there. But now is the all this your peach sweet. Page 60, 60, 61, Sweet as a Peach stamp set, Sweet as a Peach bundle are retiring. Rats. So probably the, the dies too. Okay, so we're almost on page two here. Yeah, we are on page two. Whoo! All right, we're moving right along. Is everybody still here or did I lose you? <laughs> yeah, let me do this for you so then you can just do it yourself. It's a lot easier than reading this small print. Just saying. All right, so here we are on page 62. 62, celebrate with flowers. Right here is retired. And uh, hippo happiness photopolymer stamp set retiring. This is a Million Dollar Achiever Robin Cardon stamp set. I hope the dies don't retire because the dies are adorable. Okay, 64, so way to go. Okay, so biggest wish is staying. Page 63. This stamp set is staying. Yay. Way to go is retiring. Boo! Oh. 65 from all of us is retiring. Oh, please. Oh, no. Hey, birthday chick is retiring. This is a big sad face with tears. <laughs> I'm over it. I had a moment. I had to cry for a minute because I do love that stamp set. I love it. Uh-oh, low battery. Okay, so let me charge in my battery because we're going to be here for a little bit longer. Hold on. i got to get my external battery. This is going to be an extra longer video because I figured why stop midway, right? we got to finish the catalog. Might as well. All right, got to plug in my... Okay, yeah, i got a full battery here, so that's great. Not that we could go for hours and hours, but... Yeah, at least we'll get a little bit more done with the catalog. All right, so, hey, birthday chick on page 65 is going. Boo. All right, so page 66 is happiest of birthdays. Oh, man, I love that stamp set. Just because it's big and bold, I like it. Uh, 66, happiest of birthdays, which I got that. Uh, occasions, oh wait, Simply Elegant Sweet. Oh wait, 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 wait. Peekaboo Farm, did that one stay? I think that one's staying. And the Pot Party Puffins. 66 Peekaboo Farms and 67, those are staying. Yep, 68. The Sweet is retiring. 69, elegantly said, stamp set, retiring. And elegantly said, elegant, elegantly said bundle is retiring. Okay, this is on page 69. Okay, 70, encircled in friendship, stamp set, 
Encircled in Friendship Bundles. So those are both retiring. Oh no, Forever Firm. That's a good one too. Oh, page 71. Oh, okay, I don't see a page 71. Forever Firm is staying. Yes! <laughs> okay, 72. See, I get attached to stuff too. I love all these stamps. Yes, Party Puffins are staying. Yay, Margaret! <laughs> okay, we're on page 72. I think nothing's going there from 72 because then it skips to 73. So 72 through it together is staying. And that's a new stamp set too. 73, we have Forever Blossoms is retiring. And Prize Peony or Prize Peony retiring. Is the bundle, hold on, uh, prize peony stamp set, yeah, oh, there wasn't a die for that, was it, I was thinking of the poppies, all right, so the prize peony and the forever blossoms are retiring, the through it together stamp set is staying, okay, so page 74, always in my heart is retiring, Positive thoughts on page, okay, so Shaded Summer is staying, page 75. Page 76, Positive Thoughts. Oh, I love that saying in that one. Sending positive thoughts and feel-good wishes. Love that saying. That's on page 76, Retiring. Uh, Forever Grapevine is retiring. And... Forever Grapevine Bundle. So that is probably all retiring. That's on page 76. 77, Ordinate Thanks stamp set. Ordinate Thanks retiring, page 77. 78, Flowers of Friendship. Oh, wait, let's see here. There's a couple things. Beautiful moments. Beautiful friendship bundle. Okay, so the bundle price is probably retiring, but the items are carrying over on page 78. Flowers of friendship. All right. Beautiful moments. 79. Retiring. Uh, page 80. I don't have that stamp set either. Okay, so the bloom where you're planted, retiring the sweet. Uh, plentiful plant, plants bundle, 81, is retiring, but that's probably just the price. So the stamp set and the dies maybe are carrying over. We'll find out in a little bit. Okay, page 82, count on me is staying. Page 83, Free as a Bird is retiring. Uh, and that's it. So the Whale Done is staying. Yep, Whale Done is staying. All right, so page 84, Sweet Farewell, which is uh, like a vacation retiring page 84 and right behind you stamp set retiring 84 both are retiring 85 back on your feet oh my gosh no love those three i have used that set a lot i love it okay 85 that's going Back on your feet. So if you guys want any of these retired sets, now's the time to get them. All right, and then we got 86 senior years retiring. And Badger Besties right here retiring. 88, okay, so this one. Oh, Nothing's Better staying. I love that stamp set die. Okay, so Nothing's Better staying. 88. Tidings of Christmas, and this is the suite that's retiring. Okay, Tidings of Christmas, 
Tidings of, no, Tidings and Trimmings Photopolymer Stamp Set. Right here is Retiring. And Tidings and Trimmings Bundle. So I'm assuming that is all retiring. Okay. Page 90. Festive Foliage. Festive Foliage. Yes, stamp set. It's retiring. That looks like it's a background stamp. Right down here. Okay, what is this here? Hold on. Snowflake Wishes is retiring. So both of them on page 90, retiring. Evergreen Elegant Stamp Set, retiring. Is the bundle, hold on. Evergreen Elegance Bundle, yes. The bundle, everything is going. So the punch and the stamp set and the bundle are all going on page 91. Uh, 92 Poinsettia Petals is retiring. Point perfectly plaid photopolymer. Okay, 92. Okay, so point city of petals over here. Perfectly plaid is retiring on page 93. Oh, and the snowman season is staying. That's been around for a while. Oh, no, here it is. I spoke too soon. Snowman season, I was going to say, that one stayed. That's been around for a while, but it's a really cute stamp set. Snowman season is retiring, and the perfectly plaid on 93 are both retiring. Uh, 94, season's blessings, retiring. And season's blessings bundle. So more than likely, everything is going on page 94. 95 banner year retiring 95 okay 96 ex expressions and in ink sweet retiring artistically inked bundle okay so the bundle price is retiring but uh, okay so the designer paper better stay with this bundle because the designer paper is a big thing, right? Yeah, the bundle is retiring, so but the stamp set and the dies are staying. I do like it though, but the designer paper makes it a complete set. Okay, so that's page 97. 98 is color and contour. All right, hold on, I gotta see if it's the bundle. Color and contour bundle. Yeah, just the bundle price is retiring. So the bundle, the dies, and the stamp set are staying, hopefully. That's awesome. I love both of those items. 98. All things. All things fabulous. Retiring. Page 99. Okay, 100. Henna hearts retiring. 101, very Versailles. Oh no, I love that stamp set too. I like this cursive background. Page 100, very Versailles. Oh no, 101, sorry. 101, and then, uh, yeah, that's it. This one's staying. Etched in Nature, I think, is staying. Yeah, I don't see it. So the very Versailles is retiring. 102, to the moon is retiring best year and best year yep retiring oh my gosh best year hand pen sweets collection is retiring okay hand penned bundles okay so bundle price is retiring so i'm assuming that that's Butterfly Brilliance Bundle is retiring, but maybe the whole, the items are carrying over. Whoop, whoop. All right. Hand-drawn blooms. Hand-drawn, where's that at? Hold on. 
I got sidetracked with the butterflies. Okay, so page 106, yep. 106, butterfly brilliance bundle price is going. Page 108, okay, so 107, garden bird house is a stain. Page 108, hand drawn blooms is retiring. And birds of birds and branches are retiring. Hydrangea Haven. Oh wait, Hydrangea Haven bundle is retiring. So those stamp set in the die might be carrying over. I haven't seen the new catalog yet. I mean I've seen it, but you know, when you're with like 17 other people that are wanting to look at the catalog, I didn't really like get to study it. So, after my live today, I'm going to go look at it and study it. So, all right. So, page 110, Quiet Meadow. Wait, now here. Quiet Meadow Bundle is retiring. So, those items might be staying. I like the dyes. Yep. Then, page 111, Tasteful Texture Stamp Set retiring. Sweet Symmetry Sweet is retiring. 113 In Symmetry Stamp Set and Hold on, I gotta go to page 3. We're almost there. In Symmetry Stamp Set retiring. I wanna see if the bundle is. Hold on, I gotta go back to page 3. In symmetry bundle, yes. So everything's retiring on page 113. Whew. All right, 114. What do we got? Uh, 114. This, the back boutique is retiring. The stamp set and the bundle. So everything's retiring on page 114. 115, Love of Leaves, retiring. Uh, Queen Anne's Lace. Oh, no, I like that stamp set, too. That one's got really good greetings on page 115. 116. Oh, 116. Art in Bloom, Photopolymer, and Bundle are retiring. Yikes. 117, oh no, all squared. Stamp set and bundle, retiring. All right, remember there's something new coming in a few weeks and it's really awesome. Page 118, we have Birch Clean, retiring. These are background stamps. Uh, Wild Roses. Retiring. Handmade for you. Where's that? Oh, over here. <laughs> Page 119. Handmade for you. And then the two backgrounds. Wild Roses and Birch. Retiring. Okay. 19. Now we're going to go to 23. Okay. So we know all the end colors right here are going. Right? Uh... Let me see here, 123, yeah, Bumblebee, Simon Cider. So now just know that all the collections that these end colors have, so the cardstock, the markers, the ink refills, the blends, all of it is retiring. So just put a big X and that covers it all because there's like a big section here, right? Don't, just cross it all off. So this is probably going to be while supplies last when we get into the accessories. The stamp sets, I've tried to look briefly on the website because just know on my website tomorrow, Stampin' Up! is going to announce that the stamp sets usually last longer than the accessories because the accessories and all the stuff that we get from overseas, that's like we got on stuff on hand, right? So while those items are available, they're while supplies last. But the stamp sets, we make the stamp sets in Kanab, Utah. So they usually put a date that the stamp sets will be available through, say, I don't know, 
April 15th. Let's, I'm just saying, I don't know. I'm going to look. I'm going to find out, and I'm going to post it on my website tomorrow. But the stamp sets will be available through a certain date, and then after that date, then it will be while supplies last. Because they can't make the stamp sets all the way up till May 2nd. You know what I mean? So they're going to have to cut it off. So if there's any stamp sets, please just get them when you can, if you love them. You know what I mean? All right, so we're, we're left off with the Bumblebee, Magenta Madness, Misty Moonlight. Oh, the card display on page 125. This right here is retiring. Uh, the 2020 in color cardstock, which we, wait, what's that page? That's 126. Okay, so all this other stuff is staying. That's good. Okay, so the the 2020, these are the end colors. Remember over here, so you have the end colors. The 2022, these are all retiring. And these are the assorted packs. These are the bundles. And then the stamp and write markers. These are all in the end colors. The 2020 through the 2022. You know, these colors that are retiring, these ones. So these are the collections that we have here. So those are all retiring. But the 2021 through 2023, those are carrying over, okay? All right, let's see here. Hand-penned memories and more on page... Okay, hand-penned right here. So this is number three. This is retiring. Hand penned memories and more card pack. Okay, where is that at? I think it, oh, right here, right here, five. So right here, that one's retiring, retiring. What a year, memories and more card pack. Right here, number one. Uh, the white Stampin' Chalk marker. Oh no. Oh no. All right, so I need these. This is usually where I go when I get the catalog. When I first get it, I always go back to the accessories. All right, so the chalk marker is retiring, which is number 10. All right, but maybe we're getting a white gel pin. Wouldn't that be good? All right, so hold on. Stampin' chalk marker, basic pattern decorative mask. Okay, so basic pattern. So number five is retiring up here, this one. Shimmery Crystal Effects. Oh, no. Number eight is retiring. Oh, no. Yeah. Number eight is retiring. Crystal Effects. Plenty of Patterns. Decorative Mask. So that, I'm assuming, is number six. Yep. So both of those are retiring. Beauty of the Earth. Oh, okay. So I guess that was it. That was it in a nutshell for that these two pages. Now we're going to the designer paper. Designer paper is 128. Yeah. Beauty of the Earth retiring. Usually all our designer paper retires. Oh, expressions in ink. Rats. Hand penned. Bloom where you're planted. Retiring. Retiring. Yeah, pretty much all of it. In good taste. Oh, that one carried over last year, but now it's retiring. Pansy petals in the wild. Retiring, retiring. Okay. Simply elegant. Simply elegant. Oh, sweet. Sweet symmetry. Tidings of Christmas. Yes, all the papers retiring. Okay, and we got the Regals. Yeah, all the designer paper here, the 6x6. Six six, we have the neutrals, Regals, bright, subtles, in colors, all of this. Oh, wait, your peach. Is that retiring too? Hold on. Yes, your peach. So all of these are retiring. Everything over here. Uh, your peach. Okay, square vellum doilies. So these are number five. Retiring. Okay. Uh, rainbow glimmer paper is retiring. 
this right here. I'm just writing it on the, the border too here. All right. Hydrangea Hill Mercury Glass Designer Paper. Let's put it here. This is number eight down here. Okay. Uh, 2021 20, through 23. In Color Shimmer Vellum, which is right here, right? Number six. Yep. See the end color. Well, that's end color. Those end colors are staying though, but they're retiring. Maybe it's not a big seller, right? All right, what else? Uh, ombre, ombre paper. Oh, right here, number four. Ombre 12 by 12. Yep, yep, number four, right? Yep, retiring, retiring. Acetate card boxes. Okay, we're flipping the page. Page 30, 137. So all this stuff is staying, hopefully. Acetate card boxes. Page 137. Acetate card boxes number one, right? 144628. 14. Yep, yeah, this is retiring. Uh. One and three eighths by one and three eighths acetate card boxes. So what is that? Number six, maybe? No. Right here, number four. Number four, right here. Retiring. Uh, what? Three by nine. Printed gusseted. Printed right here, probably number nine. Printed. Yep. Yeah, number nine is retiring. This is retiring, and number four is retiring, right? Yep. All right, mini paper pumpkin boxes. Mm, right here, six, yep, retiring. Uh, mini coffee cups. Right here, number five. Retiring, retiring. Uh, ombre gift bags right here, number two, retiring. Simply classic treat boxes, one, five, 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 six, six, right here, number seven. Oh, those are like jewelry boxes, right? Like a ring box. Mini jam jars, retiring right here, number three. Look at all those R's. Ugh. That's depressing. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go to the ribbon. Oh, no. The black organdy glittered ribbon is retiring. See, it isn't so. Petal pink organdy striped. Oh! Old olive, pretty peacock. Oh, that's the twisted colors right here. Uh, fine art ribbon, one five four five six one. Where's that at? Five six one. Maybe that's on another page. One thirty nine. No, it's gotta be right here. Where's that at? Let me read it again. Oh, oh wait. Uh, fine art ribbon, three eighths, one five four five six one. One five four five six one. Where is that at? I don't see it. One five. Oh, right here. It's like a like a jute or something. Duh. All right. So we've got. Let me see here. Don't want to miss anything. All right. Gorgeous grape. That one's retiring. Flirty Flamingo one quarter inch metallic ribbon right here. It looks like all the ribbons going. Well, maybe they'll get more. They better. Just saying. Smoky Slate textured ribbon right here. Yeah, all the ribbons going. Oh, Just Jade Gold braided ribbon. Yes, that's gone. 
very vanilla scallop lace ribbon. Okay, so we're turning the page. No. Where's that now? Wait. Just, just, okay, very vanilla. Yeah, 140. Okay, so the pool party, yay. That one's staying. The open weave ribbon and the in colors that are carrying over, that looks like that's staying. And the white crinkled seam binding. I hope we get more white ribbon. All right, so page 40, 140. We have very vanilla scallop lace right here. Uh, real red stitch satin right here, right? Yeah. Playful pets, that one's down here. Flowers for every season, that one's there. Bumblebee, Highland Heather, Mint Macaron. Okay, so Highland Heather, Bumblebee, Mint Macaron, holy moly. Pale papaya and white right here. Okay, so that's all the ribbon. So we have the gold shimmer ribbon, the gray granite ribbon, the early espresso, right? Yeah, I don't see early espresso. Wait. Yeah. And the linen thread, the simply elegant thread, and the metallic mesh, and then the baker's twine are all staying on that page. Okay. Oh, all right, I'm pretty exhausted. <laughs> this is sad. All right, um, here we go. Page 141 over here. Expressions. Wait a minute. Expressions in ink. Firma, whatever that is. Case number two. This is, yeah, this is retiring. Bumblebee trinkets retiring. Paper lattice that is retiring. Holiday rhinestone basic jewels. Okay, so we're flipping the page to one forty-two. So the the number three is staying. What is that? Loose flowers. Yeah, that's staying. Loose flowers are staying. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is gonna be sad. All right. Uh, I gotta find my spot. Holiday rhinestones. Oh, gosh, retiring. Okay, just do this one and hold your breath. Gilded rhin gilded gems number three is retiring. Blue adhesive back gems retiring. Genial gems retiring. Silver and clear epoxy essentials. Oh my gosh, these right here, I think. Yes, retiring. 21 through 23. Okay, we knew those were retiring because those are in colors, right? Uh, square gems retiring. Metallic pearls. Where are those at? Over here, I think. Page or number three, right? Metallic, hold on, I gotta make sure. Metallic, we're almost to page four, then we'll be done. Uh, where is it? Where did I just see that? Oh, it's the last one. Metallic pearls, 143. Yep, right here. I'm tired. Okay, so we're flipping the page. You guys are following along. All right, uh, 143 still. Ugh. Okay, playing with patterns, resin dots. What is that? Number six? Yes. Okay, artistry blooms, adhesive. Oh no! I love those. Mason jars, retiring. Sequins for everything. Oh, that's great because we don't hardly have any sequins for shakers. Um, sequins for everything. Where was that at? Sequins for everything. Sequins for everything. Yeah, so five, right? Yeah, five. And then what else do we got? 
shaker shapes and tiring. Elegant tag. Okay, that's it. Everything else is staying. Punch. Oh, okay, good. Nothing new over here going. Okay, punches. Okay, here we go. That's another one that's going to be tough. All right. Elegant tag punch. Good riddance. <laughs> All right. Strawberry builder punch is going. Oh. Yeah, the the tree elegant or evergreen border stain. That's weird. Yeah, the strawberry punch is retiring. All right. Well, that's good because the stamp set is too, right? Okay, so turtle punch is retiring. Symmetrical stems. Right here is retiring. Tailored tag. Right here is retiring. Delightful tag topper punch. Delightful tag. Right here is retiring. Snowman builder punch. Retiring. Fancy tag topper. Right here is retiring. Ice cream cone and treasured tag. Ice cream cone and treasured tag. Daisy punch. Yeah, we kind of knew that was coming. Did the tulip punch go? Because that tulip stamp set retired, right? Oh, it's staying. Huh. I don't see it. Daisy punch on page 150. Okay, which Daisy? Hold on. Daisy Punch, 143713, 143713, the big one. So the little one is staying, the medium. Cat Punch, Everyday Label Punch. Cat Punch, Everyday Label Punch. Detail Trio, oh, no. Detail Trio, okay, Spring Sprig punch. Uh, pine tree punch. Greenery and Boston. Okay, so that's it. These are the punches that are staying. You want me to list them off? Let me just make sure. Okay, so let's start back here. Okay, these are the punches that are staying. The dragonflies. Evergreen, evergreen border. This is on page 147. Then we've got flowers and leaves. All right, these are stain. Essential tag, the whale punch, banners pick a punch, lovely labels pick a punch, tulip builder punch, and rectangle postage stamp are all stain. Then on page 150, we have Label Me Lovely, Label Me Fancy, The Heart Punch Pack, The Double Oval. I wonder why they're, they kept the jar punch, but they got rid of the shaker domes. Let me make sure. Yeah. The jar punch is staying and the medium daisy punch is staying. Alrighty then. All right, still continuing on here. Let me see, where do we leave off? Pine tree punch, okay. Okay, now we're on embossing folders, page 154. So everything here is good. The trimmer, all that stain, that's good. I was kind of worried about the simply scored, but that's good that stayed. Um, 154, so we're going to the embossing folders. All right, here we go, ready? Looks like there's a lot. Okay, greenery embossing folders. Greenery, right here. It's retired, down here at the bottom. Dandelion 3D embossing folder. Evergreen forest, retiring. Uh, animal print embossing folder, right here. Bark 3D. Retiring. <coughs> Bark. 
checks and dots. Checks and dots right here, retiring. Uh, Daddy hearts right here. Well, pretty much every every one of the Magnolia 3D. All right, so pretty much all of them except for the brick and mortar staying, or all of them are retiring, but the brick and mortar. Okay, now we're going over to page 155. Okay, 155 Magnolia 3D retiring. Hammer. Oh, man. Love that one. Especially with my motorcycle and that geared up garage. I love that hammered. Uh, Parisian Flourish. Right here. Tasteful Textile. Tasteful Textile. Where's that? Right here. Uh, ornate Floral. Ornate right here. Meadow Moments. Meadow Moments right here. Is this being helpful with you guys? <laughs> you guys are still with me? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're all experiencing this together. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Right? We'll get through this together. It'll be all right. It's just we'll all have a moment now. And then... We'll be celebrating with the new catalog. I promise. You guys are going to love it. It's going to be like over the top. It is. I love it. All right. We left off with the metal moments here. Let me see here. Metal moments. Okay. Macrame 3D. Right here. Retired. Uh, baby clothes. What? Not, that's not even a thing, is it? <laughs> the, oh, we're in the dyes. Okay, that's it. So everything retired except painted texture 3D, pretty flowers, seashell 3D, and then the thanks and hello and the wintry 3D. Everything else retired, but those stayed. And then the brick and mortar. Okay, here we go with the dyes. Oh, yay, yay. All right, there's a lot too. Let me get my spot here. Baby clothes dies. Retiring. Floral squares. Retiring. Floor, uh, bloom hybrid. What is that? Wait. Oh, that's the... Oh, yeah. That's retiring. That's the embossing folder and the die cuts. Okay, so page 157. All the dies retired. Many layered blossoms on page 158. Many layered blossoms. Right here. Beautiful tree dies. Oh no, that is, oh no, that's the, no, that's, that's all right. I don't want that one with the, the tree scape one. Yeah, all right. So that, I mean, I'm, that's good. It's just. It's going. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right. So beautiful trees. Okay. That back. What is that? I don't know what that is. That one's retiring. Encircled in beauty. Okay. So that's it for that page. We're going over to 159. Encircled in beauty. Grapevine dies. Retiring. Hat Builder Punch, retiring. That's down here. Uh, sea Life. Oh, yeah. Then we're skipping over to page 159 now, right? Yeah, 158 is the last one is the... No, 159. Hold on, 159. Yeah, the Hat Builder. Yep, yeah, 160, Sea Life. Okay, so Sea Life. This is the one I was thinking it was. Inspiring Canopy. I love that one. So, I don't know if that one's, but the sea life is retiring. Seasonal basket. Right here. Uh, oh, rats. Inspiring canopy dies. Doggone it. Ugh. Cooking dies. 
What else is new? Cooking dies right here. Window flower box right here. Big cats. We kind of knew some of these were retiring when they retired the stamp and the bundle, remember? This is the page when I said we'll find out later. This is now. <laughs> Surprise! All right. Uh, Big cats. Christmas tidings. Yep, right here. Retiring. Peach dies. Retiring. Layering hugs. Retiring. All retiring. And the seasonal basket sea life and the inspiring canopy retiring. The other three, the pansy, perfect plants, and the meadow are staying. I like the meadow too. Yeah, so that's good. All right, flipping the page to 162. All right, halfway down. All right, so cherry blossom dies. These are all in alphabetical order, so it'd be easier to find. Cherry blossom. All dressed up, retiring. Banner blooms dies, retiring. Birds and more, retiring. Fabulous florals, retiring. Dandy wishes, ugh, dandy wishes. Oh yeah, and a birthday chick, ugh. Birthday chick. Let's have a moment. Sad face with tears. Okay. I'm over it. Moving on. 163. In the tropics, which we knew that one was going right. So in the tropics. Hippo and friends is... Oh, no. I hope that give it a whirl. Please, no. I'm just doing a quick glance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It looks like give it a roll staying. Yes. All right. So hip one friends retired. Floral heart. Floral heart right up here retiring. Uh, floral market right here retiring. Iconic. Oh, iconic. Dies. Uh, ordinate frame dot. Oh, what? Ordinate? Wait, we're on another page. 60, 64. Yeah, so the layering diorama, layering circles. Thank you, Jesus. Say, saying, give it a whirl. Thank you, thank you. Forever flourishing, staying. That's with the fern stamp set. And then the floral gallery, which we knew that was the art gallery that was staying. So everything else is going. Oh, we got the basic borders over here is staying. Everything else is going. Okay, moving along. Ordinate frames. Okay, ordinate frames. That's a good one right here. That's sad. That's a sad one for sure. Peony dies. Retiring, peony, whatever. Pet dies. I do love that stamp set and die though. Uh, nature's, oh wait, ordinate layers, pet dies. Ordinate layers, that's retiring. Uh, nature's thoughts dies, that's retiring. Almost done, guys messages dot oh yeah that's the one with the two stamp set remember we thought that was done that was retiring not dying sorry retiring smooth sailing this is over over here now right smooth sailing yep that nautical stamp set that i like playful alphabet no way poinsettia die retiring so many snowflakes Retiring. Stitched leaves. Okay, so we knew that was going to happen, right? Because the stamp set. Oh, please don't let those stitch rectangle. Pierce blooms. Oh, man. That stamp set and die are awesome, and they're both retiring. The stitched blooms. Or pierced blooms. Yeah, that's a really good stamp set and die. 
I almost like the dies better than the stamp set, but the stamp set's got really good greetings in it. Okay, so Pierce Blooms. Okay, Word Wishes dies. Okay, so it looks like we're flipping the page. Uh, right? Yeah, 65. Okay, so we have Picture This, Love You More, Majestic Mountain, and Painted Labels are Stained. Over here on page 65, we have the stitch rectangles, the stitch greenery, the potted succulents, the poppy moments are all staying. Everything else is retiring. All right, here we go. Last page for the dies. Where are we at? Word wishes dies. Oh, man. That sucks. All right. Uh... Stitch Stars, oh, retiring. Stitch So Sweetly, we have to protest. Oh, no. <laughs> Stitch So Sweetly, I am going to protest. No. Yeah, how much I've used these dies. Some things have to be a staple. You know what I mean? Stitch triangles. Retiring. Tasteful labels. What the heck? These are great for shapes. Warm wrap dies. See you later. Suit and tie. See you later. Okay, uh, Okay. so these are all the hostess items. Okay, so nothing on the adhesive page. So it looks like the 2020-2022 in-color grid paper. In-color grid paper. So that must be an added-on item. So... We all know that these hostess items all retire, right? You guys know that, which we're sad, especially about the paper, because we all love that paper. But, yeah, that's it. Okay, so I'm going to give myself tonight, to mourn, a little bit, because I wrote on there, no, for the stitch so sweetly dies, and the hey birthday chick. That's just terrible. But I have seen the new catalog, and I will say that it is so awesome. It really is. Really, really awesome. Oh, my God. I can't believe some of the stuff is <laughs> are removing. I know. I know, Renee. That's what, you know what, every year for the retirement list, it is sad. But... We have to make room for the new stuff. So what's coming that I've seen is awesome. You, you, I think a lot of all of us are going to be really, really happy with a lot of stuff that's coming. So I uh, can't believe we just did that. And it's like two and a half hours in. I can't believe the dyes that are retiring too. I know a lot. Look at all my R's. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all the punches. I really hope, I'm going to find out here in a split second if we get a lot of punches. Hopefully circles would be nice with square punches and square dies, you know, but not holding my breath. But still, we're, I'm going to see in like a few minutes after we log off here. But yeah, the dies, very sad. But at least the scallop contours are staying. But I'm going to miss that sweetly, stitch so sweetly. Glad the circles are staying. Glad to give it a whirl. Yeah. I am very happy in the stitch rectangles. Very happy. Happy about the picture of this. Look at all those circles in there too. That's kind of nice. Yeah. All right. You know what? You guys are diehards. Thank you so much for sticking it out with me. Because I was going to do it whether it was live or not. Because I was going to go through my catalog. Because I got to start cleaning out my office, you know, for the new stuff. <laughs> so, um, 
I'm just glad you guys all hung out with me to the end. So, but thank you so much. So now, this is the time when we know the list. Now we can get our favorites, if there are any favorites that you want, before they are gone. And I say they're gone forever, but... Um, you know, sometimes, like even the ink colors, sometimes they come back. But, I mean, for the most part, the retirement list is gone. And this is this is the time to really seriously get your favorites because there's a lot of people out there that are buying this stuff that's retiring. And they're going to resell it on eBay and they're going to charge an arm and a leg. So... Please, please, please. I know I sound like a broken record, but please get your favorites. So, and especially if you have like a stamp set and you got you don't have the die or vice versa, make sure you get the 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 bundle of the items that you really like because when you go hunting down in a year or two for these items on eBay or other websites, they're going to be charging you a fortune. So, this is when you can get them for, you know, the Stampin' Up! price instead of being charged double sometimes, you know? But yeah, so thank you again for hanging out with me all this time. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Renee, you get me, right? I did say that. Let's have a moment, because it is sad. I mean, so many, so many of these products I've, you know, I've fallen in love with, but, you know... It is exciting to get new, you know, and just like the new in colors when they're coming, it's like one thing with Stampin' Up! is they're keeping us on trend. And if you go on Pinterest a lot, like look at it, like home decor items and clothing, you can see that they're keeping us on point. So it's nice because like even though Tempting Turquoise was from like years and years and years, like forever ago. That was like a color that was there when I was here, like when I signed up like 19 years ago, you know. So it definitely was a great color, but we needed to usher in new colors that would coordinate nice with what we got, make it fresh and new. But now it's like kind of nice to get a different type of tufting turquoise, which is the Tahitian Tide, I think it is. So... Yeah, but maybe it just ran its course and now it's like, you know, that they, everything comes back around, you know. <laughs> I still have, for those of you that have been with me for like ever, you guys know I had a pair of Charlie's Angels jeans. <laughs> That's hilarious. But um, I don't still have those. But still, things that go out of style, they come back in, you know. Everything goes around, comes around. So, you never know if you're in here in this business or if you're with Stampin' Up long enough. I mean, everything has its, you know, course. And then you might see it pop back up years down the road, right? So we will have an exciting, happy time when we go through the new catalog on May 3rd, all right? So mark your calendars. We'll go through the new catalog page by page and we'll be so happy. We won't even remember half of this stuff. Well, some of it I will, but... You know what I mean. Okay? All right. Yes, I'll see you next week, Margaret. Thank you for hanging out. All right. I'll see you live next week. Same glitter time. Same glitter station. Thanks again, everybody. I love you guys. Bye.